Hi Shiva Rajaya here from vitalcoaching.com. The topic for this video is don't apologize for your erotic fire, for your sexual uh, desire. There is something going on right now with all this uh, Me Too campaign, which is really good, right? Giving a voice, uh, a space for women to express really what has been going on. This has been a really massive awakening for us as human race, and it's a really positive thing. Now the downside, uh, the, the side effect of that is that um, there has been also lots of uh, blame and shaming of uh, male uh, sexual energy and uh, this is not necessarily a good thing. Look at, you can look at this uh, in this way. Sexual fire is just a source of energy. When we trap this sexual fire in shame and guilt, we contract. Uh, and uh, what, is, what happens then is that instead of engaging into a space of energetic sexual freedom, you're going to be locking yourself and uh, robbing yourself from basically accessing this source of, of fire and energy. And so if you are a woman, you want you want your man, you want your lover to be somebody who can access that energy. It benefits everything and everybody. It benefits families, it benefits your couple, it benefits individuals. For yourself as well as a woman, you want to be able to access your erotic fire and uh, erotic energy. So if any time you show up with uh, you know, your orgasmic power and being able to enter into that, um, into that space and you get shame for it, you get called names for it, it's going to create this contraction and this sense of guilt and shame around uh, sexual energy. So something that is important to understand is that the source itself of sexual energy is secret. This is how we were born. It is because of sexual fire and sexual desire that life and procreation happens on this planet. So if we are there attacking that very impulse, we are attacking the very source of life. Okay, so that's the first thing. It is that sexual energy is sacred. <laughs> Blaming people for feeling sexual desire is not the way to go. But, you know, then once you have this sexual fire that is awakened in your system, that is free, that circulates where you can really feel the pleasure, feel the fantastic energy of sharing a sexual encounter with somebody that you love, you know, all that, that's beautiful. But that doesn't mean that you have to start abusing people are misusing or toxifying your field with uh, sexual energy that is inappropriate and directed in ways that it should not. You know, it's a little bit like somebody gives you money, right? There are lots of things that you can do with this money. It's like a basic source of energy. You can use it to, 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 to feed yourself, to create stuff, to, to buy stuff that you, that you will need, or you can go and get drunk and sabotage your life, you know, with the same, the exact same amount of money. So with sexual energy, it's the same. Sexual energy is just a source of fire. You don't want to apologize. You don't want to, uh, to, to make it wrong by itself, okay? Sexual fire is divine, it's beautiful, it's powerful. And this is what we need to remember as human race. This is what we want to anchor. But then, of course, we have to set up ways of using that energy that are appropriate. It means that it's a little bit like having a weapon, having a sword. You, you're not going to go and chop the heads of your, your children or the, of people that you love. You are going to use that energy in positive and constructive ways. So this is why I have programs on my site around tantric sex and vital sex, because it's a really powerful force and source of energy that you can tap into. And right now, as a human race, we're scoring maybe at 20% optimization. It means that we are not really good Good at using and optimizing our sexual fire and sexual energy. So the whole the whole uh, game is a game of mastering the sexual fire. It's about mastering that energy, and by that it means also learning how to use that fire in respectful ways. But you, as a woman, you know, you want the male in your life. If you are partnering, or if you are coupling, or if you are with uh, a man for the rest of your life, you know, married with that man, you want that man to be able to access your sexual fire, his sexual fire. 
you want him to be powerful on that, on that sense so that you have absolutely great love making if you are dating a man who is going to be completely suppressed and wounded because of shaming patterns coming to him from society that's usually not going to create a very good lover the lover that you want to have is somebody who is really comfortable with his sexual energy who is able to look at you and, and be like yeah, I do feel a sexual desire for you and own it. You see, this is not aggressive. And yes, it's not the first thing he's going to say when, you know, if you never met before, you know, there is also measuring the different intensity that you can, that you can project in an interaction. But basically what I'm saying here is that um, it's not a good idea to start shaming sexual energy altogether. Sexual energy is beautiful. It's a source of life force in, in us. I'm sure that, you know, most of you who, who are watching this video, you love sex. You love good sex. Do you? I mean, ask yourself, do you enjoy feeling pleasure? Do you enjoy having a beautiful love, romantic connection with somebody who is going to, to take care of you? And uh, guess what, you know, if the person that you are trying to interact with or have a connection with is completely locked in shame, guilt, traumas, wounding, it's like that's not going to create this sense of, of a sexual, deep sexual connection and liberation. So you get that. So the idea is this, um, first within yourself, don't apologize for being a sexual being. Don't be like, you know, having to love yourself and being afraid of, of being a sexual being. No, just, just be a sexual being you are a sexual being and don't use that sexual fire to abuse other people's spaces and and be a disrespectful uh, you know idiot in the process of doing that that's part of the mastery but altogether being like you know um, money can be abused and money can be corrupted therefore I'm going to burn all the money that I have and live without money you know no money is fine it's a source of energy that can be used for good and bad things. And the same for, you know, sexual energy. Sexual energy can be used to create beautiful, deep, romantic, profound connection. And uh, it can also be used for horrible stuff, for abusing. And it can be used both ways. You know, both men and women can use sexual energy in ways that are, that are um, extremely corrupted. But, you know, the idea of shaming sexual energy by itself uh, personally I don't think is the way to go you are free to have a different opinion on that but in my experience you know in what I've been teaching around the world when it comes to vital sex and tantric sex workshops it's all about you know discovering that inside of you discovering this, this beautiful energy that lives inside of you finding ways to optimize and harmonize all that you know, the alternative is, is like everything that is happening within uh, the culture today, which is, which is not a very pretty picture. We don't score very high when it comes to, uh, to the use of sexual energy as a human race. So it's something that we need to optimize and um, learn how to play with those, those energies better. But apologizing or feeling sorry or feeling ashamed of, of having sexual energy inside of you yeah i don't think it's the way to go and that's definitely not a way that i choose i love feeling sexual and i'm not going to use that sexual energy to intensify or project something in the direction of somebody that is not open or didn't give me permission or where the you know the connection is not established yeah, because it's like it's part of sexual mastery. This is what the whole vital sex teachings on my website are about. It's all about learning how to master your sexual fire. Yeah, I hope that makes sense. I love you.